Hello everybody, and welcome to my week two Iceland vlog. So, uh, I hope you all have had a, a wonderful week, and once again I'll give you guys a little update of what I've been up to the past week and the past days, uh, from Sunday to this Sunday. So, uh, this week I had my introduction meetings uh, at the university. Last Monday, I had the general introduction with the exchange students, which was a very interesting, and we were with a lot of people. I think we were about with 300. Like, we were in a, a smaller cinema room, and all the chairs were occupied, and there were even people sitting on stairs on the sides of the room. So we were with a lot of people. Uh, during that meeting, I actually met some other Dutch students, which was pretty fun. Uh, just by pure coincidence, I sat down next to them, I heard them talking, and I asked them if they were Dutch, and they said yes. They are from a different region than I am, and are from a different university, and they both study uh, to become elementary school teachers. So they both are from the teacher's education, which is really interesting for me as well, because it means I actually share a couple of courses with them. Um, further, I met some other very nice people uh, during the second introduction meeting at the School of Education of the University of Iceland. And those were some very nice people. Uh, sadly, I didn't really catch their names, but we traded our phone numbers. And now we have a shared WhatsApp group in which we uh, plan small events that we might do together. Um, further. I've kept myself a little bit busy this week uh, with not only the meetings, but those were only on two days. Further, I haven't done a lot of things, so I don't have a lot of footage and I don't have a lot of pictures. But the last last two days, I've been doing a little bit more outside to get some more footage for you guys, and also just to do some more things for myself. Uh, in the days that I don't really do anything, I'm just here in my room, uh, most of the time just in my PJs and just relaxing. Yeah, I'm behind the laptop that I'm using right here. And uh, just spend my time on the internet chatting with people and watching some movies and series. So it's not that interesting for you guys to get updates on those days. Um, so I don't have an awful lot of footage or material from those days. Uh, of course, I always try to get as much footage as possible. Also, next week uh, will my uh, next week the school will start, and I will have my first classes, which is going to be very interesting for me because I had to change I had to change a couple of my courses um, because of the planning. I had to drop one of my courses that I really wanted to follow, which was American history and culture. I had to drop that one because it got planned on the same time as a different course of mine. So uh, American history and culture was only an extra class that I wanted to follow, I had to sadly drop that one. Also during the introduction meeting at the School of Education, I discovered that the course that I wanted to follow teaching English to young people was only focused on elementary school. And since I'm starting to be a high school teacher English, it wouldn't fit really with the things that I wanted to do. So I also had to change that course. Now I changed it to a course that is almost the same, but just has to do with high school students and adolescents, which is really interesting for me. So, uh, further, the uh, other two courses remain the same, so luckily I have a little bit of consistency in my plan. The planning for next week will look a little bit different than I expected. I first thought I would have school on Mondays, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Friday. Suddenly, my schedule shows me only that I have school on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. The new class that I picked out uh, seems to be only on one day, but I'll ask some more questions about that on Monday when I have the class itself. Because it seems really weird to only have three days of school and then just two days of nothing, and basically a four-day weekend. It's not saying I'm complaining about this, because, hey, a four-day weekend is pretty nice, but it seems a little bit odd. So those are a little bit of the things I've been keeping myself busy with, uh, especially when it comes to school. I also had to buy a couple of books, and uh, that went just fine. You, you could uh, purchase the books at the university itself, which is a little bit more expensive. Of course, there are ways to obtain them secondhand in a couple of bookstores here in Iceland. And 
Uh, there you could buy actually books for maybe half price. They were used. Some of them were in, in that great condition, but they didn't have the books I needed. So too bad. It was too bad I couldn't really obtain my books in that way. Um, further, the weather here has been a little bit iffy. Uh, at the beginning of this week, we had actually awful, awful weather. We had quite a lot of rain, we had quite a lot of snow, but it was like the, the wet kind of snow and hail, so it was the weather wasn't great. So the past three days, it has been snowing like in a nice kind of way. So everything is just beautifully white and everything. And yesterday, I went out for a wonderful walk with my friend Johanna, and we went downtown, and I managed to get some really nice footage of that. Further with myself, uh, I myself am doing pretty great. Uh, I still need to get used to the fact that it gets uh, light really late, and it disappears uh, pretty early as well. So we only have about, uh, we guess about four hours, five hours of actual daylight, and then it's already dark again. And especially in the mornings when you woke up, wake up at ten. It's still really dark as it is in Holland at around 8 in the morning, which is really weird to me, because every time I think I get up pretty early, and then it's suddenly actually pretty late. Um, further, the family here has been really kind to me, and they asked me uh, what kind of food I would like to eat. Now in Holland, uh, most of the time my diet would consist of just some sandwiches in the morning and in the afternoon, but here the bread is quite different from what I'm used to. so. We're actually a little bit improvising with all the things uh, that they are buying here for me, which is really nice of them. Um, and the things I've discovered here is they have really nice uh, strawberry yogurt that I like to eat in the morning. So sometimes I eat that, and sometimes I just indeed make sandwiches with the bread that they have. It's a little bit um, more square, like in Holland the bread is more fluffy, while here is actually more compact and smaller. But the bread here tastes pretty alright and I gotta say um, I'll probably get used to it. Something I might not get used to is actually the smell. Uh, whenever you turn on the hot water here in Reykjavik, uh, you actually get the smell of rotten eggs, which is really awful. Uh, this happens because the water here is just all from the, the, the soil, everything is just soil water, everything is from Iceland itself. They don't really cleanse it, it's just fresh, fresh water. Uh, the thing is, because it goes through the soil, it gets this sulfur smell, which is the smell of rotten eggs. And it only happens when you warm up the water. So when you turn on the warm water, so for instance when you take a shower, you are met with the wonderful smell of rotten eggs. So whenever I take a shower, I always get a little bit worried that I might just smell like rotten eggs too, but luckily uh, it hasn't happened just yet. But this is something I really need to get used to, and I really hope I will, because every time I use the hot water and you smell rotten eggs, it is just not that fun, nice. It's not fun. No. <laughs> uh, further, I really hope that you guys had a wonderful week and a wonderful time. Wherever you live, if it's in Holland, if it's in Europe, or if it's in America. So yes, it was a little update for me here on Sunday. Uh, of course, I will introduce the footage of uh, the past week for you guys, and I'll again show with little annotations which day it is and the date. Uh, I hope you will have a wonderful week. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope you also will enjoy this little video of mine. And I'll see you all in the next week. Bye! Hey everybody, it's me again. I just had my first introduction meeting at the university. And I gotta say, it was a lot of information to just take in. Now, I am on my home, way home again. And maybe as you can see, it's snowing quite a bit. So I'm just making my way home. Uh, being extra careful with all the ice and just a moment ago I actually met two other Dutch students and they were unbelievably nice and really cool so I'm pretty sure I will have some people to hang out with as well so I'll uh, keep you guys posted and I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you
see y'all. Bye bye. Hey guys, we're in the arcade. Look, look, all kinds of stuff. And there's even an upstairs. So I just got myself a card and we're gonna play. It's gonna be fun. Oh my god. So I'll see you in a moment when we have like loads of tickets. But yes, see you. Wonderful, wonderful morning. And guess what time it is? It's freaking half past ten. So I woke up this morning and I had the feeling uh, I was still about eight in the morning, but it wasn't. Surprise. Uh, we're on our way now to the School of Education. I'm going to have another introduction meeting over there. And uh, afterwards, we're probably gonna do some groceries again. And well. Johanna, my good, good friend here, if you can see her, uh, she's giving me a ride because I have no clue which bus to take yet, but later on I'll be able to do that myself. Uh, the past couple days there has been a lot of snow. There has been quite some snowfall, but also a lot of rain, so everything around us is just a little bit mushy and even though it's still kind of white, it's kind of gross. So, no playing in the snow just yet. I'm gonna wait for it. So, today we're going to the school and then hopefully afterwards we can do some nice things. I expect a couple updates today. Uh, I've been kind of lazy a couple of days uh, because, well, if you stay at home, it's kind of boring to just vlog and tell you guys what I'm doing beyond my computer. So, I'm sorry for that. If you lack uh, the days with pictures or anything so I'm going to make up for that for today so I might just shoot some footage at home and else you're gonna have some car vlogs yay so I'm gonna see you guys later bye bye ship in Reykjavik. It is told that, let's see, that this thing uh, was the first place where the Vikings from Norway actually settled in Iceland. Now I'm gonna take some beautiful pictures here, but just I want you guys to see the beautiful view we have from here. I hope you guys can all see it. It's so beautiful. As you can see the mountains and everything. And it's, I, I, I can't. And the weather has been actually really, really awful today. Like, the snow, like, on, off, on, off, on, off. And there may be more coming in the distance. See that. Yeah. And there's probably coming more this afternoon. But right now, we're just gonna make some pictures right here. Uh, we just came back from university and bought some things in the store. Um, and we're on our way home. We're first gonna make a picture here. And uh, it's, it's so beautiful. Guys, just oh, just look. At this is Iceland. This is why I come here. It's just so beautiful. Even over there, you can see the snow flurries. Actually, I hope you guys can hear me. Else, I need to voice over all of this. <laughs> oh, but it's so beautiful, guys. Yeah, but it's so beautiful. I'll I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey guys, it's me again. Uh, this is day six of week two 
And right now, we're on a frozen pond in the middle of the right <laughs> Just wait. Hi. Everything is snowy and thick. It's just so beautiful. The weather is great today. Um, we decided to go out for a nice little stroll. So we're going a little bit downtown. I've been making some very nice pictures of uh, some houses around here. And uh, this morning I met a family friend of uh, Johanna's. Uh, his name is Luca. He was very nice. He's uh, originally from Italy, but he lives here in Iceland. And oh, just guys, everything is so beautiful. Um, next week school is gonna start and I probably won't have as much time to just walk around, make nice strolls, run through the snow. Um, but uh, for now, I'm just gonna enjoy my time here. Gonna enjoy the wonderful nature, the wonderful weather and architecture and snow. As you might can hear the cracking. Uh, but guys, if you ever get the chance to go here, even if it's winter, like it might be cold as balls, just go. It's so beautiful. You oh. won't regret anything. Yeah, you won't regret a thing. So I'll see you guys later, probably with some more footage. Bye! There's Liz running on our frozen pond. What you normally see now under the snow is just thick ice. Jump, Liz, jump! Okay guys, we just passed over the pond and we arrived at the tiny spot of warmer water and it's just swarmed with all kinds of geese and ducks and I see some swans I think. Yes, swans. Swans, and just all kinds of birds just making noise. It's pretty cool. Hey everybody, uh, we're on our way back to home uh, together with here with Johanna. Say hi. Hi. We're in the bus right now and it was freezing cold out. Oh my god. I was just like doing jumping jacks to stay warm. Um, so we're on our way home right now and tonight we're actually going out for dinner. So, yay! <laughs> Sorry for the wobbly everything and for the noise around us, but. Uh, just wanted to give you guys a little update. It's turning pretty dark out now, and uh, I'm holding myself here not to fall <laughs> because the, the road is pretty bumpy. And uh, yeah, I'll give you guys a little update when we're in the restaurants tonight. And I hope you guys have a very nice day today. So I'll see you all around. Bye! 